Hi, welcome to the WordPress learning course. And today is day two. I would like to talk about an, an overview of the WordPress dashboard. Okay, so now let's get started. And here, this one is the website of the WordPress we have installed successfully in the day one. Okay, here you have to provide the username and password in order to access into the WordPress dashboard. Click on login button. Okay, here. So here, this one is the dashboard, and on the left hand we have the menu, or you can call it is the navigation. And here is the main. We will be using to display the the selected item of the in in the menus. Here, we are we are selected the dashboard. So here it will display some of the visit here for the welcome to WordPress information. Uh, quick draft activity blah blah here okay so here underneath of the dashboard we have the home page it's update if we have anything is news and in new i mean the feature is new so you can uh, click on the update button here to install a new one on the window pc okay and support this is support here we contain some the the the, the support and you can see it is the article on the website okay here you can copy the link here open it okay so i will open it in another browser okay open it here first because we are logged in into the the, the the WordPress dashboard here with the admin account. So if I open the same, uh, we have two sides. This is the front end side. We will be using for displaying on the internet for the client to view. And here, this, this one is the admin page. So because we are logging into the admin page here, if you are open the same uh, front end page, on this uh, on this browser so here you can see some the navigation and on the top okay so here i will open it in on a new instance of the browser okay we didn't see the login information on the top here okay cool so here click on the arrow button now and it will open the content on this page here we have a port in hero one okay back to the admin page yeah we have a new port is the hero one click on this one to view detail okay okay welcome to the wordpress this is a fraud post edit or release it then start writing okay here this one is all of the content in on the side Will be uh, edited. Will be editable in the uh, an editor. We can call it what you see, e what you get editor. You can view it in the text, the visual. Click on this one to view the phone. Okay. So now here I will try to edit the content in the editor. Hello. and be talking glad to meet you guys okay update okay so after that open the foreign foreign and pet refresh this one yeah you can see here the new tag has been added into this port. Hello, everyone. Chen talking. Glad to meet you guys. Okay, cool. So I will talk about it more detail later in another video. Okay. And here we have another one in media. So in the media feature here, a module here, you can add the, you can create new the media library for adding the video the uh, image okay 
and the basis the basis uh, will be using for displaying the content on the web page and I will talk about it later we have another one is a command module the command module here okay back to the parent and page here you open the hello world okay scroll down we have other commands here he, this is a command to get started this modify blah, blah blah here leave leave a reply with the command this is so great name chinu Put comment. Okay, this article is so great. And after you submit the comment here by default, we will it will post the content here. But we have to wait for the the, the admin to, to review and approve this the comment. So if the comment is reject, so this both cannot be displayed here. Okay. Open the command, refresh this one, and here you can see here the new command has been added to 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 to, to the command module. Okay, great. And the pending, the pending is only one. Approve the e one. Okay, I back to the pending. Okay. Okay, here so it's for the padding, and I will click on this one. You see the author and the comment. This article is so great, and you click on approve. You can also reply this one. Okay, thank you. Approve and reply. Okay, approve it. Okay, open the front end page to refresh this one. Thank you, thank you. Okay, cool. Okay, so here go to the next module e appearance. So the appearance here it will define and do some customization for for the team. Okay, so here. On a website, we'll be using a team to display the content. I mean the look and feel. Sorry. So here we are using the default team of the WordPress after you install successfully on the PC here. And the 2017 currently active team for this website. And we have 2015, 2018 here. Okay. So I will talk about the team more detail later in another video for you. Actually, we have to work with this one a lot of time. Uh, when you work on any website, you have to to, to customize the team for 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 each website depending on the purpose of the client. Okay, here go to the next module in plugin. Yeah, so here we have a lot of the plugin on the Markets. So, depending on the purpose of the website, you can use the the you can search the plugin on the internet and install it on the uh, into the website. Okay, of course I have to talk it later. And the user here. So this one is a user module to manage the user information and the role the role for the user of the website. Okay, the tool, the tool, it is support for you to, 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 there are some available tool here, you can, uh, for example here, this one is the category and tag converter tool, and you can import and export the tool by default here, export. 
Okay. And the setting. Uh, in general setting, we are going to set the, some of the information for the website. Uh, the site title, the tag for the site, it is really full for the search engine when you are uh, go live the website. And we have some WordPress address URL here. It should be the same for it should be the same for the site address, okay, and the email address, membership, subscriber. You can change the site language by default. It's in the English we have selected in the as uh, well as the previously when we installed the website and the time zone. Okay, so I will change the time zone here to my current time zone. It is yeah, it is plus plus seven. You can change the date format. Uh, for uh, for displaying the content it's time zone format okay set change the writing the reading recursion okay, okay media privacy okay and here's the last one is the collab menu okay okay so here i hope this video will have food for you and after you go through this video you know uh the you know it i i mean you will understand more about the dashboard and some of the feature of the wordpress okay so i hope this video will have food for you and see you later in another video bye bye